your turn, Caleb. Hey, why did you take that from me? Give you. Will you please give it back? Yeah. Thank you. Caleb, why did you knock down my tower? <sighs> I forgive you. Why did you change her? I had her all very dressed. I'm sorry, Jason. I forgive you. Are you okay? Look at this. Mama, Caleb's been bothering me all day. I've forgiven him like seven times. I'm tired of it. How many more times do I have to forgive him? Hmm, wow, that sounds just like what I was just now reading in Matthew 18. Peter asked Jesus the very same question. He said, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Do you know what seven times 70 is? No. It's 490. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. How do I forgive Caleb's that many times. It's a lot, but I think the point is we shouldn't keep count. We have to just keep on forgiving and forgiving and forgiving like God forgives us. Peter was probably pretty surprised when he heard this. He thought he was doing pretty well by forgiving someone seven times, but Jesus expects us to do a lot more than that. He explained it in a parable, which is a story that teaches a lesson. Let's watch it. All right. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the unforgiving servant. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, No, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold, along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him, and he let him go and forgave his debt. 
But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please. His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No. But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, that's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. Okay, kids, Jesus told Peter to forgive seven times, 70 times. That's a lot. I don't think we can even keep count. And I think that was the point. We just need to forgive and keep forgiving. But how much is seven times 70? Let's get a visual of what 70 is first. Find things in your house that you can count 70 of. Maybe it's noodles or pieces of popcorn, beans, crackers, cereal, toothpicks, crayons, rocks, something that you can put together 70 of and ask your parents for a bag, a little Ziploc, to put them in. And that's going to show you what 70 looks like. I've got 70 beans in my bag, and I've written on there, Forgive as the Lord forgave you, from Colossians 3.13. But Jesus says seven times 70. I would need seven of these bags. But this is to remind me that I should not even keep track of how many times I forgive someone, but just keep forgiving. So we've got some pasta, some popcorn, beans, and toothpicks that we're putting in our bags to remind us to forgive and keep forgiving, just as the Lord has forgiven us. Have fun making your bags. Make sure you have permission from your parents for what you put in them, but I hope it helps you remember how much we're supposed to forgive. Have fun. Thanks. <laughs>